What's going on? Okay. We have uh, one more shoe to look at. You know what? I forgot. The dumbass that I am. With the GT2, even though we're not going to talk about the GT2 on this one. Um, instead of socks, you get headband, headband and two wristbands. So Ooh. it's pretty cool, man. Something different, something new. Um, for you athletes out there, this is definitely going to come in handy. Or for you uh, athletic supporters. There you go. And, um, <laughs> you know, this definitely goes with the motif of uh, all the um, the soccer gear that's actually coming with the, you know, with the two shoes. A lot of cool stuff. And then some electronics as well. So we'll talk about that when we do the GL3. All right. On to the real reason why we're shooting this. Second video of the day. Uh, about two weeks ago, Nike ESB dropped this shoe along with its brother, sister, whatever you want to call it. Um, Air Jordan 1 SB. And the pictures have been flying around all year. We knew that something was coming um, the, the first edition of the Air Jordan 1 SB dropped two months ago Craig Stessick's first uh, I guess rendition of the uh, Air Jordan 1 now we have the man who really put the uh, the shoe on the map as far as being a skate shoe slash basketball shoe Lance Mountain uh, did you ever watch Animal Chin? no no all right, for all you young bucks and newbies or people who haven't been around in the 80s like us old fucks, <laughs> farts, uh, the search for Animal Chin was a, was a skate video done by uh, Pal Peralta. If you don't know who Pal Peralta is. Even were, I know that. We, they were one of the, not one of, they were the, the biggest. biggest skateboard company in the 80s. Tony Hawk, Lance Mountain, uh, Mike McGill, Tommy Guerrero. Uh, who am I oh, Steve Caballero, Caballero. part of the uh, the Bones Brigade, and all of them in that movie wore the Air Jordan One, and you had the bread, you had the Royals, uh, I think even the original Chicago colorway, uh, and they were just given this this shoe, and obviously the shoe caught on quick because it's what all skaters needed, something supportive and you know absorbable, the the pounding on the feet on the knees and the shoe was pretty much a fucking staple in the 80s for anyone who, who rode a skateboard or even bmx bmx they were good yeah. for uh, flatlands tricks there you go so this shoe again i know it's a, a skateboard drop but it was more than just a skate shoe it was really action sports if you will back in the 80s so uh anyway lance bowden he he had this shoe and in order to i guess prolong the life of him and to make them his own unique thing, he would paint them. He would wear a mismatched, um, you know, just to kind of be unique and have his own style. So his uh, idea for, you know, for the, uh, I guess the, how do we call this? The, the, would it be the retro drop? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, whatever. Uh, anyway. His idea was, you know, let me bring back some of what I did in the 80s to, you know, 2014. So, there's two pairs of shoes that actually came with this, uh, with this second round of, uh, of Air Jordans. And they are painted. As you can see, this shoe is, uh, is all painted white. It the is black, one, not. It's black, not. Fuck well. Um, <laughs> the other one is all black. And... Yeah. The shoes are both mismatched. You have the bread and you have the royal, as you can see, just by the outsole. All right. So now, obviously, the premise behind the shoes are, you know, you wear them, skate, paint peels off, and it reveals, voila, your original uh, royal or bread shoe. Now, the other cool thing is, I don't even know how cool it is. I, I would have liked to see a set of blue and a set of red. Yeah. Especially if you pick up both. Because you, know, you need to pick up both. Yeah, if you don't pick up both, then you're kind of, well. You, you are, you're kind really of fucked. It doesn't fucking matter, though. No. I guess if you got two whites, uh, eh, whatever. But still, the premise behind it is cool. Now, a lot of people already, 
before the shoe actually dropped, started peeling the fucking paint off. Why on God's green earth would you fucking do that? It's pointless. The whole fucking idea behind a shoe is to watch it fucking peel off as time goes by, as you wear it, as you fucking skate in it, as you fucking kick rocks in it. I don't fucking... This, I don't know. Fucking. ADD? Do they have ADD? Is that what it is? Whatever the case is, man. The whole point is, let this shoe be, honestly, uh, an extension of yourself. Walk around in it, you see one, you know, one little section peel off, the other little section peel off, so on and so forth. Uh, so for people who have it and, and you're wearing it, but you're thinking about peeling it all off as far as, as the paint is concerned, don't do it. Just let fucking nature take its course. I talked to a few people about, you know, what, what they were going to do with the shoe, and most of the older people, or I, I, let me rephrase. Let's, let's, let's be most, easy with that word. Most, <laughs> most of the uh, mature people, I should... I'm fucking using that loosely too. God damn it! Uh, but we also most said the same of the thing. '70s babies. There you go. We all said the same thing. We're gonna wear it, let nature take its course, and uh, see how it all pans out. Um, on the flip side, the whole shoe is comfortable as hell. John and myself, you know, we we were around for the very first Jordan that dropped, and we see that the quality. This is the first time I can honestly say that the shoe lived up to the name. The leathers. Can I, can I, it's like butter. Well, it's not butter, but it's No, it's good. It's, it's, it's better than Nike's been, pre it's much better than any Jordan yeah. brand drop. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, honestly, I wore these already too, especially if you follow my IG, so that I posted a picture. I put these on with the thought that, fuck, they're going to, they're, they're going to pinch my toe, you know, my, my little pinky toe, the whole nine yards, but they didn't. They were so fucking comfortable. The leather really is. You know, it's not that shit plastic that you see on some older fucking older one, meaning a year or two ago, even three years ago. It's good leather. It really is. Surprisingly enough. Yeah, so... Um, I wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that it's not a Jordan brand drop. But you know what? Nike SB has also been notorious for... Better not quality? Always, not always using the best quality. There are some shoes that have used the best quality, and I apologize for the... Uh, helicopter flying over um, it's the ghetto bird but anyway yeah I mean the leather on this surprisingly is good it's soft it's again not one of those shoes that you have to wear two three four times to break in you know one time two times and and you're good to go so if you have it good for you please for the love of God don't peel it off with acetone or fucking paint thinner just do what you got to do how, how hard was it for you to get yours oh uh, well uh, first big shout out to my man Sitch Pack on eBay. Look him up. Uh, not Six Pack, Sitch Pack, S I G E. Um, the dude hooked it up retail. I didn't have to beg, I didn't have to uh, wheel and deal, so to speak. I would have. Easily taking both pairs, but he only had the white pair. So if anyone has, on a side note, if anyone has the uh, the black pair in a size 12 that wants to get rid of it for retail, hit me up. But um, yeah, you know, with this shoe, and I'm gonna just uh, keep it generally speaking, so nobody gets fucking offended or salty about it, or call me out to a fight. Um, a lot of skate shop owners. Um, the word I'm looking for. I'm, I am the king of political incorrectness, don't ask me. Well, let's put it this way. There, there, there are a, a few out there that... Um, There's no reason to be a douche about it. There you go. They decided not to take care of their loyal customers, um, you know, give stories, this and that, you know, jack up the prices for people who've been supporting their, their shop since fucking day one. They're referring people to them since day one. You know, going above and beyond, really supporting the, the local skate shop. So, <laughs> my man Sitch Pack, he kept it true. I didn't have to, you know, deal with any, you know, bullshit, no, no shadiness, no nothing like that. Uh, he was very humble throughout the whole thing. He's still staying humble, reaching out to me the whole bit. So, um, you know, it, it's a shame to see that there are 
uh, owners out there and, and people that, that have an SB account and whatnot that have honestly, you know, changed their tune, so to speak, and, uh, you know, now they're fucking too cool for school. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. So, if anyone wants to know what I'm really talking about, you know, shoot me uh, a direct message or something or an email and uh, I could let you know which shops uh, to avoid and which shops to uh, to support. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But anyway, back to the shoe. The shoe is dope. Um, there's some rumors swirling around as, as to what the third uh, edition is going to be. I really don't want to say uh, what I've heard, uh, but it, it is something more local to the New York City area as far as who's going to be able uh, to do the last uh, the last edition of the Jordan 1 SB. So we'll see what we'll see what happens, but there's definitely one more coming. Um, I would think probably by the end of summer. So be on the lookout for that. I'm sure pictures are going to start or information is going to start rolling through. Uh, and if you could get a pair of these, do so. I know prices are dropping on eBay. Uh, you know, the day of they were up to like 450. 500 even, I saw some people doing it. Uh, but prices are definitely dropping out. You know, I guess people are starting to realize that this is not a fucking Gamma 11. Gamma yeah. 11 wasn't even that no. expensive. What was the last thing that was really... This is an M&M 4, let's put it that Day. way. You know? So the price is going down. That's, that's even comparing apples and oranges. But, um, you know, Retail on this was 150, so 150, once you know, 200, good price, 225. I mean, even 250 you could go for it if you really want the shoe. For me, you know, this is a shoe that shit brings back fucking memories, man. So you know, I had to have this one. I would like the black one too, but you know, uh, I'm not gonna be picky. Uh, I'm cool with you know having one. So anyway, Jordan 1 SB Lance Mountain Edition. Um, Paint shoes, not walls. That's what the um, the anti-graffiti campaign. Hey, zoom in on the uh, on the paper. So pretty fucking cool. It's a good it's a good shoe to have in your collection. Uh, and again, very comfortable. It, it, it doesn't fuck your foot up. So pull the trigger if you've been uh, if you've been waiting on this. All right. All right, guys. So there you have it. Uh, Jordan One SB Lance Mountain Edition. We've got one more video coming next week, the uh, uh, Ronnie Feig A6 GL3, the USA version, so stick around for that one. You know, we might even see, uh, depends what we get, you know, huge pack, huge collection of, uh, of stuff coming, so. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for those, uh, those white leather uh, sagas. Oh, the GRs, yeah, we'll talk about that too. But uh, yeah, so stick around, we'll, uh, we'll see you in, probably in a week or so. Peace.